Hello, I am Sophie Vanon. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a like writing update, writing plan, writing goals video. I don't really know what to call this one. This is sort of like my what's next after Camp Nano thing, I guess. I don't, I don't know. If you didn't watch those videos, I ended up finishing Project Glass. I finished the first draft of Project Glass in the month. I did it. I didn't think I was actually going to be able to do it and I did it. So big ups. But now that Camp Nano is very over. I gotta figure out something else to work on because <laughs> if I don't have a writing project I will actually just like implode I think. So we gotta figure it out. This summer, I'm counting this as pretty much my summer break. So starting like literally today as I'm filming this until August 20th-ish, we have May, June, July, and most of August. Yes, that's what we're planning out here. Cool. So this season, this quarter, I don't even know what we're gonna call it. This length of time that we're talking about today is going to be very Project Star focused. You may have seen her recently in some videos. Project Star is a space sci-fi. <laughs> it is a sort of alternate outcome to the Project What universe, where in Project What there is a full-scale nuclear war that renders the Earth uninhabitable for the most part. Um, it's right here. <laughs> in here, humans that remained on Earth and that survived were herded essentially onto this man-made island in the middle of the Pacific in order to stay relatively far away from the fallout and hopefully not die. Hopefully not just die out. In this book, we are about a century into that history. They are on Earth. They are on Earth an earth that is battling with radiation um, and humans that are battling acutely with radiation as well because you can't- it's in the atmosphere. <laughs> you can't escape it. Even if you're not living in it, in the worst of it, it's still gonna get to you. In Project Star, and it's also mentioned in Project What, but in Project Star there is a spaceship, a space city, that the super super rich on earth during the war were able to buy tickets for and the idea was that this space city would orbit the earth during and after the war finished and they would kind of just wait it out in orbit for the planet to heal itself so they wouldn't die when they returned. The ship does not remain in orbit. They leave the solar system because they realize that the earth has been properly destroyed and it's gonna be tens of thousands probably years until the earth recovers. So they're like, okay, we have tens of thousands of years to wait. Why don't we just leave? <laughs> Why don't we just not sit here and orbit a dying earth and we go somewhere else? We explore the stars. We've wanted to do that forever. Now we have the chance. Let's go. It's been thousands of years since, or probably a thousand-ish years since the end of the war in this story. And they have traveled to a part of the galaxy that is teeming with alien life, okay? And right now, for the most part, this city is orbiting a relatively unstable star to kind of just get the last of its useful energy out of it so it can have more power to move on. And at the beginning of this story, they are looking for a new place to go because the star is unstable, they don't want to be near it um, as it like slowly breaks down. So they're like, okay, we need a place to go. Yeah, that's the story, essentially. I talked so long on that, my bad. You may already know that I have outlined this trilogy. You can watch it here if you'd like. And um, to be honest, that was an extremely rough outline. It was the most basic ideas I had for each book in order to progress the story throughout all three books and see the series as a whole. It is not complete whatsoever. There's a ton of details that I still need to add, like subplots, relationship arcs, character arcs, but I had like a basic idea, like maybe a spine for what I wanted the book to be. So we have a basic idea. We have the backdrop for which this series is going to take place on. Now to step one of my summer plan. We'll get, we got there, okay? It took like five minutes, but we got there. So my first step, my first goal for the month is to complete the trilogy outline. 
This is my goal for May and for probably a little bit of June, depending on how long it takes. But I'm hoping I can just finish the trilogy outline in May. That'd be nice. And in this month, I really want to flesh out each book's plot to the best of my ability, as much as possible. Obviously, book one's probably gonna be a lot more detailed than book three, but I wanna just get as far as I can in the outline um, so I know I actually have three feasible books that I can write. Yeah. And I definitely know that as I write, I'll probably add things into book two and book three, but just as complete as possible. We're gonna get it as detailed as I think I need. The next step is actually writing the trilogy. <laughs> Who would've thought? Drafting, what? And honestly, this is my goal for the rest of the summer. So for all of June, for all of July, I wanna finish the trilogy, which technically makes my camp goal Finish Project Star. Um, so you already know my camp goal for July. Cute. I don't know what step I'll be at in July to make that like what my actual goal will be, but for right now, the main objective, finish the trilogy. I'm almost gonna write this as one giant book since I'll be writing one, two, three, one right after the other. So hopefully it'll flow well. It'll just have some really big ups and really big downs in between everything, but technically it'll be three books but it'll feel like one book to me. Does that even make sense? Do you care? <laughs> Do you care? I was kind of leaning towards handwriting this because we all know I'm a handwriting girly, right? But I think I might type this one up. A couple nights ago <laughs> on my laptop, I was bored out of my mind. I don't know why. I realized that I have this program called Papyrus Author. I don't know if you guys know about that. It's like a free Scrivener almost. I think that's how I found it. I was looking for a Scrivener that I didn't have to pay a bajillion million dollars for. And I found Papyrus Author forever ago, realized I still had it on my laptop, and I started playing with it, and I realized this could be really good. <laughs> this could be really good for what I'm trying to do this summer, because you can organize the chapters, you can organize the scenes, you can put a bunch of notes on like the sidebar of your document. Like, I feel like it's the organized chaos that I need for this. So I think I'm gonna use Papyrus Author for this trilogy. If it doesn't work, I'll switch to handwriting. It is what it is, but that is the plan for right now. Papyrus. Cute. And these are all gonna be zero drafts, essentially. I know I have written Project Star before, but not a ton of that is actually staying. The, the basic bare bones of that original draft are staying in the story, but everything else is gonna be like relatively new, outline some new world building almost everything's just slightly tweaked so i'm calling this whole trilogy just zero draft zero draft zero draft um so hopefully that will make it relatively easy to pump the story out one two three because i have no expectations i have no expectations and i can just write but that is that is the goal by the end of july which is kind of where this writing goals thing stop if i need to work into august that can, that can happen because I won't be in school and it's totally good. We just wrap it up. But the ideal goal is to finish it by July, the end of July. Slay. Anyways, if you have been on this channel for quite a while, um, you might know that I tried to attack this strategy previously. <laughs> that was with Project Quest, <laughs> an ancient <laughs> four book fantasy series that I was trying to write, that I was trying to get out all four books so I could have the whole series in front of me and see where to go from there. Um, I actually do have the first and the second book right here printed out. Trust me, this is book one and book two, okay? Fun. And that's, that's as far as I got. I got book one and book two done. Um, I printed them out to work on them and to strategize for the second half of the series, and I just never finished it. I had tried many times to re-outline the whole series so I could fit everything I wanted in it, but it just never worked out. So she's just sitting there. She's basically dead at this point, I fear. So we're gonna not talk about it anymore. <laughs> but long story short, it did not work. Why do I think I can do it this time? I'm glad you asked. First and foremost, proper planning. I'm actually planning this one out this time. I know. Impressive. I. I get it. When I did try to do this with Project Quest, the fantasy series, I had an incredibly loose outline. I had like maybe 10 ideas that I wanted to put in each book, and I just trusted myself to be able to pants the rest of it, which 
you may already know, I'm not a pantser. I'm straight up planner, all the way, 100%. So that did not work. <laughs> the world of Project Quest has also expanded far out of my reach. I was so overwhelmed with how big I had made the world, um, which totally my fault. At a certain point, writing the book series was no longer the priority, and now I kind of see it more as a fantasy world that I can just add more world building to, more lore to, and that necessarily I'm not building this world to be put into a specific story. I can just play with it. It's just a mini world for me to enjoy. Not that I've worked on it recently at all, but that's the idea. <laughs> that's the hope. But that is not the world that Project Star is going to become. I already know that because there's so many places and things that we see in the series that there's no one place I can focus on. So there's not one place I can get sucked in and world build to oblivion which is nice, which is good. <laughs> and I will also be properly outlining this trilogy before I jump in. So I'll actually have steps I can follow and I won't just be going in blind the whole time and hoping for the best. So with a little bit of hard work, hopefully, hopefully I can outdo my past self. Anyways, that is it from me. That is it. That is the writing goals. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully Camp Nano went good for you. I know it's been like almost two weeks since camp ended but hopefully it went well what are you working on now are you working on anything are you done <laughs> you're like camp nano's over i'm taking my break but let me know everything in the comments and i hope to see you in the next one peace wow.